A top 25. Every coaster enthusiast, some way or somehow, has made a personal list of their favorite coasters that they have ridden, all varying from the type of coaster you prefer. For instance, you could favor a 300 foot Giga Coaster to an 150 foot RMC, or even an 100 foot Woody to a 400 foot Strata. It's all about your particular opinion and what you like. From the 608 coasters I have currently ridden, I've been able to make a list of my top 25 favorites. Is that is what I'll be doing in today's video. My rankings of the top 25 coasters that I have ridden. But most importantly, before we start, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on coasters often, as it really helps the channel out tremendously. Also, if you want to see more, make sure to look at the link in the description where you can see all of the Coaster Thrills social media accounts, including Instagram, for updates and much more. But before we jump in, let's start with a disclaimer. All of this ranking is based on my opinions and my opinions only, so any rankings that you may have for a certain coaster is almost guaranteeingly not going to be where I rank it. My list is in no way the right list, as it's all in my opinion and what I consider to be my personal favorites, but now that's out of the way, let's jump in. Coming in at the number 25 spot, we have Orion, located at Kings Island in Mason, Ohio. This great B&M Giga Coaster opened in 2020 and is home to so many great elements such as the fantastic speed hill, a solid Giga Drop, multiple more airtime moments, and of course Orion's Belt, the main helix that will actually make you gray out, it's that intense. I know a lot of people don't recognize this coaster as a Giga, but come on, at least it is in my opinion, and in the end, it does not matter to how good this coaster is. Orion is definitely a world class ride, as that has come to my attention the more and more I have ridden it, all of that resulting in Orion taking the number 25 spot. Taking the number 24th spot is Copperhead Strike. Ever since I first rode this thing back in the year of 2019, all of my rides in this thing have been nothing short of amazing. When you first look at this coaster, you see a standard mock multi-launch, but there is so much more to this attraction that makes it such a good ride, such as the incredible hang time, fantastic conversions, great airtime, and even some striking theming to go along with that. This coaster has everything you could want in a great ride, and even though it may not seem as good at first sight, it is one of, if not the most underrated coasters I have ever ridden, and deserves to make my top 25 without a doubt. Gold Striker, being one of the best coasters in the old Wild West, will strike its way into the 23rd spot. This absolutely incredible GCI Woody has really grown on me over the years as even though it may have its roughness, it really adds to this experience as this coaster delivers being one of the most out of control coasters out there. Once this ride opened in 2013, it really put California's Great America on the map as it would later become part of this park's incredible top two, that being this and Royal Blazer, which just may make this list. But overall, with this ride having that fantastic GCI Twister layout where each element never stops coming, it places Gold Striker as one of my favorite wooden coasters out there. Moving across the country to good old New England, we are introduced to the Wicked Cyclone, located at Six Flags, New England. 
being the first of RMC's many incredible creations to make this list, Wicked Cyclone does not disappoint in any aspect of the great layout this coaster possesses. Though it is one of RMC's older creations opening in 2015, this ride packs in so much of what RMC does incredible, such as the fantastic airtime, great inversions, wacky outer banked moments, and so much more. Although in the end of the ride it does become a little sluggish, Wicked Cyclone really is one fantastic ride and a great number one coaster for the New England section of America. Let's take a trip back in time to the 1800s where we have Time Traveler, this fantastic mock extreme spinning coaster that delivers on every aspect that it introduces. To start off, this is one of the most fun coasters you will get to ride, but the main draw, for me at least, is one of, if not the best, coaster elements in the world, the 90 degree dive drop out of the station. This element in the back is absolutely breathtaking, really the main reason for why I like this coaster so much, but other than the one insane element, Time Traveler is still a super fun and fantastic experience as everything about it is just so, so good and for sure my favorite ride at Silver Dollar City. Another B&M to make this list is an absolutely incredible hyper coaster that is Candemonium located at Hershey Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania. This along with Mako which just may be next up are airtime machines and not your standard B&M hyper floater as they have some fantastic flow ejector which just may be the more dominant airtime on both. On Candemonium it is packed with so much incredible moments such as the fantastic, massive camelback, solid speed hill, weird but super fun outer banked hill, and of course, the ending helix around the fountain. Candemonium is just so picturesque as well, and as anything you can want in a hyper coaster, which means that it came super close to the coaster taking the next spot, which is... Mako, located at SeaWorld Orlando, opened in 2016 and is truly such a phenomenal ride. At the time, I debate which coaster I think is better between this and Candemonium, but at the time of this ranking, I just barely prefer Mako, which really, what else is there to say about this incredible creation? Pretty much all of the same from Candemonium applies to Mako. This thing has absolutely incredible full director airtime, as that is for sure what this coaster does best, but definitely take into account that this coaster looks stunning as well, especially due to its location against the water. The night rides on this thing are nothing short of amazing, as Mako is pretty much perfect, especially for what it is, and is for sure one of the best coasters in the state of Florida. What's in the shed? An age-old question asked since the dawn of time can only be found on Mystic Timbers located at Kings Island in Mason, Ohio. This GCI Woody is my favorite that they have made and man does it not disappoint as this coaster has everything you could possibly want in a great wooden coaster through that fantastic out and back layout. I don't know about you, but in my opinion, the shed, though it maybe was a little disappointing at first ride, makes this ride experience even better, as without a doubt, Mystic Timbers is a world class woody and one of the best coasters to grace the grounds of Ohio. What time is it? Yeah, you guessed it, it's time to ride the edge on Skyrush, this absolutely crazy intimate wing coaster, another ride to make this list located at Hershey Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania. 
If I had one word to describe this thing, that would be insanity. This ride is purely just an insane coaster, a compact mess of track, whatever you want to describe this thing. It really does fit any name. From the start of the ride, being one of the fastest liftos out there, to the end, Skyrush is non-stop action, packed to the brim with airtime, intensity, and so much more, leaving you begging for more after every ride. Not one, not two, but three different coasters will be taking the number 16 spot, and these are the RMC Raptor prototypes in Wonder Woman, Golden Lasso Coaster, Railblazer, and of course, Stunt Pilot. All stemming from the magical layout RMC could create with such a small space that was provided, these rides are just madness. What else could you ask for? The airtime is so good, they're super intense, some of the inversions are absolutely fantastic, and the wacky elements just give these rides so much character. These clones are the definition of packing a punch, and man, is that a huge punch. Just every single time you get off these rides, you'll be in shock on what you just went through, making this one of, if not the best clones ever created. Taking the number 15 spot, we have by far the best boardwalk coaster out there in Boardwalk Bullet, located at Kima Boardwalk in Kima, Texas. If you want to talk compact coasters, well you have come to the right place, as this is the best coaster to ever do it. This coaster just weaves in and out of itself, filled to the brim with fantastic airtime, solid intensity, and great pacing, making you feel like you were shot out of a bullet for a great part of the ride. This is for sure a hidden gem of a coaster that does not get talked about enough, as everything about it is just spectacular, and no matter what, we'll Will blow your mind away after every single time you ride it. Let's take a trip to Frontier Town where we are introduced to the good old Maverick located at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. Though it may be shorter than most, boy does Maverick make up for it in every other aspect as this coaster just excels in its fast paced experience, intensity, snappy transitions, launches, airtime, and great inversions. You could truly go on and on on how great this coaster is. I absolutely I adored this coaster ever since I first rode it back in 2015, as it has brought all the great memories, especially in the night rides that are just insane by the way. Before Steel Vengeance came along, this would definitely take the number one spot in the park for me, as it just shows how much of a masterpiece this creation is, no matter the height. But beware, the Headless Horseman may be near. Legend will be taking my number 13th spot located at the one, the only, Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana. Though Legend may just be overshadowed by the best Woody in the world located right next door, there is no doubt in my mind that this coaster is a top 5 wooden coaster ever created. I know this ride could definitely be a love it or hate it, all depending on the rides you prefer, but for me, it is just such a massive magical experience every time I ride it, especially since it has some of the best laterals, airtime, smoothness, and so much more you can find on a great wooden coaster. Just barely beating out the legend is another world class coaster, this being Ghost Rider located at Knott's Berry Farm in Buena Park, California. Ever since this coaster got retracked by GCI in 2016, Ghost Rider has been running like a dream. It is non-stop action from start to finish as it keeps getting better and better as the ride keeps going on and on. Since I was able to ride both the GCI and CCI versions, as you all expected, the GCI version is worlds better as it really gets Ghost Rider to its full potential, leaving you able to just fly through a smooth, 
length, layout, packed to the brim with airtime, laterals, intensity, and so much more. Ghost Rider is definitely one of the best coasters in the state of California, heck, even western half of the US, as it is truly a masterpiece, leaving you wanting more after every ride you get on it. I feel a storm brewing, and that storm we are about to chase on Storm Chaser located at Kentucky Kingdom in Louisville, Kentucky. Taking the number 11th spot on my list, Storm Chaser is one of the most brutal coasters you will ever get to ride, and in no way is that a bad thing, as the airtime on this thing is that brutal. Storm Chaser has some of the strongest airtime you will ever experience. When it's running with greased wheels and butter smooth track, this ride runs like a dream, and with RMC doing its thing, Storm Chaser is by far the best coaster in Kentucky and is absolutely an incredible ride, even if its appearance just may not be the best. The best BM in the world will be moving into the 10th spot, as this is Fury 325, this legendary BM Giga Coaster located at Carowinds in North and South Carolina. After all the years, I still go in with the same statement with this ride, as Fury 325 has absolutely everything you could ask for in a coaster, such as the height, speed, length, airtime, intensity, smoothness comfortable restraints, the pacing, and even the fact that this ride just looks absolutely stunning that make this coaster so flippin' fantastic. The way that this coaster goes between the Carolinas just gives this ride so much character, and even though Fury may have dropped some spots over the past couple years, I still adore this ride and completely understand how this could be someone's favorite coaster. With another RMC making this list, we have Twisted Colossus, one of the first RMCs I rode riding back in 2015, and let me just tell you, even if this coaster is not dueling at its full potential, Twisted Colossus is still a world class coaster. This ride really has the perfect mixture of elements, especially mixed in with the fact that this ride can duel, but Twisted Colossus would still rank at this spot, even if it is solely based on a ride without the dueling aspect. Twisted Colossus really showed me how insane some of these coasters could be, and seeing people who have ridden it rank it not as high bewilders me, as for sure, as to me, this ride is almost perfect, without a doubt, a fantastic coaster. Just beating out Twisted Colossus, we are heading to good old Texas, as here we have Iron Rattler, the Quarry Wall Diving RMC, located at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Iron Rattler does something most coasters don't do, and that is diving off the quarry wall, which alone makes this coaster a thing to remember, but with that and all of the other elements featured on this ride, Iron Rattler is truly a coaster coaster to remember. From the insane drop, solid RMC airtime pops, fantastic zero G roll, and the widely known dive off the quarry wall, Iron Rattler probably has one of the most quality element based layouts of any coaster that for its short duration, Iron Rattler packs a huge punch. I have always found this coaster to be underrated, and I still stand by that statement, as Iron Rattler is truly a phenomenal creation, especially for it only being the third coaster RMC ever built. The most intense coaster in the world will be taking the number 7th spot, as this is Intimidator 305, located at King's Dominion in Doswell, Virginia. What else is there to say about this intimate masterpiece? I mean, the forces are stupidly strong, the whip this coaster delivers is absolute madness, and all the speed that is incorporated into this great layout is absolutely breathtaking. Don't even get me 
started on how demented I-305 is. I mean, you are just sitting up 305 feet in the air, then just speeding through the rest of the ride, super low to the ground, which is the recipe for an insane coaster, as that is just what Intimidator 305 is, just a surreal experience. Taking the number 6 spot, we have the only launched RMC in Lightning Rod, located at Dollywood. For the longest time, this coaster was my favorite coaster I had ever ridden, especially when I got to ride it at full speed in 2016, but just recently it was turned into a hybrid that even though it is smoother, it doesn't run like it used to. But still, all of that aside, Lightning Rot is an absolutely incredible ride from speeding up that fantastic launch till the end. This coaster is an absolute adrenaline rush, packed to the brim with absolutely fantastic ejector airtime, intensity, speed, and so much more that makes this coaster one of the best coasters in the world. These timbers have been twisted that as we get into the top 5, taking the number 5 spot, we have Twisted Timbers, this absolutely insane armsy hybrid coaster located at King's Dominion in Doswell, Virginia. The more and more I think about it, Twisted Timbers really is a mini steel vengeance, and I mean that in the best way possible, as this coaster has some of the best airtime out there, some fantastic conversions and is such a phenomenal ride. Absolutely without a doubt this ride is worthy of making my top 5. I truly love Twisted Timbers to bits as when this ride is running at full speed during a summer evening the rides are almost unbeatable. The relentless airtime is almost unbeatable. It is that insane. I know a lot of you may not think this coaster is that good but I completely disagree as I cannot say enough good about this ride as that is why it is taking a spot in the top five coasters that I have gotten the privilege to experience. Velocicoaster, located at Universal Orlando Resort, really is the full package. It has everything you could possibly want in a coaster, but even more. This coaster has something any other ride on this list does not have, and that is some of the best theming in the world. But don't forget about the thrilling aspect, as this coaster excels in that category as well. Ever since this coaster opened last year, I I've been lucky enough to ride this coaster so many times from the fantastic night rides to the opening day of this attraction i have loved this coaster so much since it opened last may the creators behind this coaster really made a gem of a creation with everything being intricately designed that even if this coaster does not have the best let's say airtime or intensity it really combines the great things of everything that makes the coaster so good. The Heartline Roll is the best inversion I have ever experienced. All the launches are awesome, it has an incredible top hat, and so many other elements really are so spectacular, just adding to how this ride is so awesome. Velocicoaster is a masterpiece, which no one should question, as that combined with the memories I have gained from this attraction really makes this ride an experience that I will never forget, and will always be one of my favorite coasters for the longest time, but it's still not the best coaster in Florida. Taking a big jump compared to last year's list is The Voyage, located at Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana, what I personally call the best wooden coaster in the world. With this being ranked this high, it really shows you how tremulous night rides can change your perception on a coaster as even in the day, Voyage is absolutely phenomenal. 
and pretty much flawless. I would call this, pun intended, a voyage of an experience, as this coaster truly is that. From the absolutely incredible pacing, combined with the super long length, this coaster really is the recipe for an incredible, and I mean incredible, coaster. As well as the massive camelbacks and speedy and relentless airtime hills contributing to this, it really does not get any better than the Voyage that especially, even if it is a traditional wind coaster, is by far the best wind coaster in the world and is an experience you will never forget. Iron Gwazi Another one of RMC's incredible creations strikes again as this recently opened coaster will take my number 2 spot. Ever since my first ride back in February of this year, I have still been trying to grasp what have I experienced with this insane creation, even after the 71 rides I currently have. Where most coasters go into a bank turn, Iron Gwazi goes into a death roll. Where most rides go into an airtime hill, Iron Gwazi will go into one of the best elements in the world, a wave turn, which for what I was implying, you get the point. This coaster is the definition of being such a powerful ride as that will be applied to all the negatives or positives this coaster possesses. Iron Gwazi really has it all as this is one of the few coasters I have ridden where every single element is perfection and perfectly placed. Especially being able to experience this remarkable creation with your best friends that makes it even better as I have so so much good to say about this coaster. Bush Gardens Tampa did the unimaginable with this work of art as I could not have asked for anything better to come to my home park. Yes, you guessed it, taking the number one spot on my list is the one the only Steel Vengeance located at Cedar Point, America's Rock and Roller Coast. This coaster is simply paradise and without a doubt takes my number one spot as I know this coaster has built a reputation in the coaster community over the years as being overrated but in no way do I think that as this coaster is truly my number one favorite. Coming from my perspective, I have everything good to say and absolutely nothing bad to say about Steel Vengeance, especially since I have been able to experience this thing at its full potential, that being rides with so much room, it absolutely hauling incredible night rides, and so much more that make you speechless every time you get off it. In no way does this coaster have too much repetition of elements, but even if it did, every single part is absolutely absolutely phenomenal. I could not point out anything that is a dead spot on Steel Vengeance. That's why this coaster is the perfect amount of quality and quantity. The quality is there with everything this ride has to offer, that being the airtime, intensity, length, inversions, smoothness, pacing, all of that contributing to the relentlessness this ride gives from the top of the lift hill to the brakes as you never get a chance to take in what is happening. In the end, Steel Vengeance is RMC's masterpiece in Crown Jewel, as without a doubt, it is my favorite coaster that I have ever ridden. Nothing beats it, as that is a true fact. But that is going to end the top 25 coasters that I have ridden. Every single ride that makes this list is an incredible ride for sure. So just don't be upset if any coaster that you love didn't make this list. <clears throat> specifically El Toro, because this is just my opinion and I would love to see yours, so make sure to post that in the comments below, I read every comment, love what you guys have to say, and of course, make sure to click on the subscribe button, like the video, do all that stuff, as really, you are not gonna wanna miss what's coming up next on Coaster Thrills, and see ya!